Uh, for me personally, this was a decision I wrestled with, but it was time. I will always be a police officer. It's who I am, but ultimately, as I learned from a former boss, when you know it's time to go, you know it's time to go. After serving this department and this community for almost three decades, I can honestly say I have no regrets. There are things I would change, yes, but being a Seattle police officer and having the opportunity to be the police chief, it was a dream of a lifetime. I will admit, it's why it has been so mystifying to watch the city council plow ahead without ever consulting her, talking to her, or listening to her pleas to be thoughtful. Not to set artificial targets, but instead to have a plan. A plan that focuses on duties, mission, and outcomes. And that's why it was both infuriating and deeply disappointing that the day after the chief stood in this room and criticized the council's approach, offered her own approach and vision, the very next day they voted to slash her salary and the salaries of her whole team. Devastated, I, I feel like it's a death. That is Victoria Beach's reaction to Chief Best announcing her retirement. Beach is the chair of the African American Community Advisory Council, which works with the police department to address issues in the community. It's a, a, a huge loss. I mean, I think our community is in trouble. We are in big trouble without her. Chief Best is stepping away after serving the department for nearly 30 years. I remember when she uh, uh, was a B cop and, and, and uh, we became captain and then assistant chief. Pastor Kenneth Ransford says he's seen her at work in the community. Of course, I care about these issues. And he's been paying attention to what's been happening in Seattle City Council meetings. Do you feel like she was treated fairly? No, I do not. Reverend Harriet Walden agrees. She says she's worked with the chief on community issues for years and says council was wrong to not consult with Best about cutting the police department's budget and her salary before they voted. The vote yesterday was anti-black. They wouldn't have done this to Chief O2. We got to talk about that. Chief O2 would have been at least been an invited in to talk about the police department. Carmen was never invited. <laughs> but I'm happy to say it again and repeat, this is not about the money. And it certainly isn't about, you know, the demonstrators. I mean, be real, I have a lot thicker skin than that. It really is about the overarching lack of respect for the officers, the men and women who work so hard day in and day out. And honestly, um, the idea of letting, after we work so incredibly hard to make sure that our department was diverse, that reflects the community that we serve, to just turn that all on a dime and hack it off without having a plan in place to move forward is it's highly distressful for me and I really you know it goes against my principles and my conviction and I, and I really couldn't do it I mean I honestly I was very reflective about it but that I mean I care about other people and that was really hard for me my heart has been in this for a long time and some of our recruiters are even here right now. We worked so hard. We had a big campaign. You know, the council gave us $1.6 million to make sure that we hired the best and the brightest and the most diverse and brought them on. And less than a year later, we're going to just turn them all away. It's been a wonderful, wonderful career. I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, and I won't miss these press conferences, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's the number two thing I won't miss. But boy, I am so appreciative of all of you for being here, for all the support that I've received over the last almost three decades. You know, and I, I don't, I'm not, uh, you know, uh, rose-colored glasses optimistic. I'm optimistic because I absolutely know that this city, this wonderful city and the people in it are going to do what's right. They're going to support the police department. We're going to look for re-envisioning and how we can do things better. Uh, I wish I could thank each of you individually uh, for all that you've done to support me in so many different ways. Um, but I just want to end by saying I'm honored, I'm proud, and I thank you all. Thank you so much.
hate to see her go because she did, in her own way, a very good job, but she wasn't effective in convincing the mayor and the city council to give the funds that were needed or just leave the funds the way they are. They've done a big, a big defund, a big part of it. 